For now, let's turn to British Columbia because a community in that province is in shock after the apparent overdose death of a 14-year-old boy. Investigators right now seeking the public's help after shocking video and pictures of his final moments were posted online. We get details now from the CBC's Belle Puri. Carson Cormini turned 14 just last month. He played hockey, he liked to cook, he was looking forward to grade 9 in September. He's a happy kid, big heart. Um, he liked to have fun, he liked playing video games. For the most part, Carson was raised by his grandfather. On Wednesday, when the boy was late coming home, Daryl Cromeni went looking for his grandson and found him at a skate park only a couple of blocks away. When I found him in the park, he was still breathing. But uh, he was laying on the cement all by himself in the middle of the park in the dark. And they couldn't save him. The teen died of a suspected overdose. Family believe it was because someone gave him drugs. Apparently they did it to watch him freak out. They filmed it. They put it on the internet. And uh, they left him to die. Irk. A series of photos and videos of the incident are circulating on social media. I haven't watched a lot of them because I really don't want to, but some of it's been posted. Oh, Carson acting very out of control. Um, showing signs of distress and they're just uh, laughing and taking videotapes. One picture shows the police scene in the background with a young male laughing. The caption reads, Carson almost died, LOL. Online messages suggest he ingested MDMA or ecstasy and Xanax. The night before he died, Carson had stayed at his dad's apartment. It wasn't unusual for Carson to hang out with older students at his high school. I, I first heard he was holding out with older kids, a little bit older than him, from, you know, the principal at Walnut Grove. Um, they said, for the most part, they were not concerned with it, about it. Um, they just thought we should know, and I did talk to him about it, and he said, oh, I only hang out with them once in a while. Dozens of people turned out for a candlelight vigil for Carson, and a memorial in his honour continues to grow. RCMP want to speak to anyone who might have interacted with the teen on the day of his death. He could have been here at the skate park as early as noon on Wednesday. Investigators also want to talk to anyone who might have seen him talking to others. Langley RCMP has also set up a dedicated around-the-clock tip line to gather information that might help with its investigation. The BC Coroner Service is also investigating Carson's death. He's my best friend. He's always he's been my best friend. So like, we do everything together. I don't even have anybody else that I hang out with. He's the only person I hang out with. Belle Puri, CBC News, Langley.